friends and welcome to Mrs. Kitchen's class. Today we're going to talk about three digit subtraction. Okay, so let's start with our subtraction poem. If you know it, go ahead and say it with me. If you don't know it, listen to it a couple times. So like replay it and then say it with me. So this is how the subtraction poem goes. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. No one there, make a square. Numbers the same, zeros the game. So let's take a look at what, what each of these steps, or rules rather, mean. So the first one is more on top, no need to stop. And if you see right here in the ones place, on top I have a seven, and on bottom I have a two. Well, there's more on top, so I can go ahead and just subtract. I don't have to worry about doing anything. So seven minus two is five. Same with in the middle. I have more on top, no need to stop. So five minus two is three. And then same in the hundreds. Three minus one is two. Those are all examples of more on top, no need to stop. The next part goes more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So here we started with a four in the ones place on top and a seven in the ones place on the bottom. Now this number is bigger, which means we needed to come to the five and take a 10 from the tens place, which means we only have four tens left. And then we squeeze that one right in front of the four to make it a 14. Because we're not borrowing a one, we're borrowing one group of 10. So now I have 14 minus seven, I've got more on top, no need to stop. I've got 14 minus seven is seven. Four minus two, that's a more on top, no need to stop, that's two. And same with three minus one is two. So that is what it looks like to go next door and get 10 more if there's more on the floor. But what if there's no one in the tens place? What do we do? Well, that's a no one there, make a square. So I had a four in my ones place up top and a seven in the ones place down below again. But this time when I went to the tens to borrow one, I had a zero. So what I did was I made a square around the hundreds and the tens, and I'm just gonna take away one group of 10 from 30 tens. So I'm gonna cross out my 30, and it becomes a 29. And then again, I'm moving that one right in front of the four because I took one group of 10. And now I can go ahead and subtract because I have more on top, no need to stop for everything. 14 minus seven is seven, nine minus two is seven, two minus one is one. Last but not least, we have numbers the same, zeros the game. So if you see two of the same numbers in the same place value, they're gonna equal zero. So here I had a seven and a seven in both ones place, a five and a five in both tens places, so those are both gonna be zero. Then here in the hundreds place, I have more on top, no need to stop, three minus one is two. All right, so now we're gonna practice. Go ahead and pause at each three digit stack and solve problem, work it out on a piece of paper or on your whiteboard, and then watch as I solve the problem. And instead of waiting till the very end like yesterday, I'm going to show you right after the, pro the problem so that you can check your work as you go. So here we go. The first one is 425 minus 294. Go ahead and pause now. All right, so let's take a look at this one together. We have 425 minus 294. The first place value I need to look at is my ones place value. That's where we always start when we're doing stack and solve, which is also called the traditional algorithm or vertical form. So I'm starting in my ones and I have a five up here and a four down here. Well, that's a more on top, no need to stop. So five minus four is one. Then I'm gonna to go to my tens place, and I'm noticing that I have more on the floor, so I need to go next door and get 10 more. 
So I'm gonna bring that 10 and I'm gonna put it right in front of the two because I'm getting a group of 10, not a group of one. So now I have 12 minus nine, which is three. And then I have three minus two, that's a more on top, so three minus two is one. So 425 minus 294 is 131. Let's go to the next one. 708 minus 419. Press pause now. Okay, so let's look at this one together now. I'm gonna start again in my ones place, and now I have a more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more, but there's no one there. So I need to make a square. I'm gonna take one group of 10 away from 70 groups of 10 to make 69 groups of 10, and then I'm gonna squeeze my one right in front of the eight because, again, I'm getting a group of 10, not just one. Now I have more on top, no need to stop. 18 minus nine is a reverse doubles fact. I know that nine plus nine is 18, so that means 18 minus nine is nine. Then I've got nine minus one, that's a more on top, and that's eight. Six minus four is also a more on top, and that's two. So 708 minus 419 equals 289. All right, on to the next one. 332 minus 126. Pause now. All right, so let's take a closer look at this one. Hopefully by now you're able to see that I've got more on the floor and I need to go next door and get 10 more. 12 minus six is also a reverse doubles fact, so I know that 12 minus six is six. Now I'm noticing I have numbers the same, which means zero's the game. And then finally, I have more on top, no need to stop. Three minus one is two. So 332 minus 126 equals 206. Get ready for another one. 812 minus 196. Press pause now. All right, so let's look at this one. I've got more on the floor. I'm gonna go next door and get 10 more. Reverse doubles fact again. But now I'm coming over here and I'm realizing there's no one there. But here's the tricky part, friends. That doesn't mean we make a square because if this is more on the floor, we're gonna go next door and get 10 more. So I'm gonna squeeze that in front of the one to make a group of 10. So I've got 10 minus nine, which is one, and seven minus one, which is eight. So 812, oh, you're right. Thank you for noticing that. Seven minus one is not eight. Seven minus one is six. Thank you for correcting me on that. So 812 minus 196 is 616. Okay, I think we've just got one more left, so let's get into it. 548 minus 277. Press pause now. All right, what do you notice in the ones place? Yep. More on top, no need to stop. What about in the ten or in the tens place? Yep. Did I say ones place first? Start in the ones place. Eight minus seven. Sorry, that was my dog barking. So now I'm gonna go to the tens. Four minus two, more on top, no need to stop. That's a two. Five minus two in my hundreds, that's a more on top, no need to stop. Three. Five hundred forty eight minus two hundred twenty seven equals 321. All right, friends, now it's your turn. Practice three-digit subtraction problems from a teacher, parent, or ones that you make up on your own. Stay tuned for more from my classroom. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you in class soon. Bye, friends.